Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're gonna be at 207 today, and we got a special guest with us today. I know you guys don't really know who he is because he doesn't put out a lot of videos, but he makes all of these videos. And that's the R and RT Ray. Hello, stranger. Any questions for me? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited, dude. First time here, MX 207. I'm pretty nervous, but uh, I'm in good hands, I think, so. Um, it should be really fun. I heard it's a little muddy. It's definitely a little muddy. But um, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So that means more grip, right? What? More grip. More grip. No, oh, less grip. <laughs> more, more chances to hit the ground. Oh. That's true. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go out for a lap and uh, see what it's about. All right, let's do it. I was busting my ass once, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna bust your ass way more than once. It does look wet. It is very wet. It is, You're going easier. It is, it is very wet everywhere. everywhere. You do not want it to be wet. Yeah, all in the corners. In the corners, and the fucking. That was the back stretch. There's usually not like that. There's two. If you if you go to the inside, there's two big fucking mud puddles. Oh really? Down 95. It's amazing how they keep the tires planted, dude. I'm over here, you know, standing and doing everything. Like you said, the faster you go, the tire stays planted more. I noticed that, yeah, a little bit, yeah. But like, that's the track. Yeah. So you see what I mean? Like, if we come up over and we take a left, we went, we stayed to the inside, and we went to the outside, doing around, around the S turns and stuff like that. Yeah. That's essentially what I mean by that. Because like, I don't feel that comfortable though, because it's so slippery though. Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't ideal. But the further the day goes along, like the, when I, I when I'm going up a, a berm or anything, I can feel pretty comfortable because I have grip going up. But it's everything else. Or getting into that, if you're going, if you catch a speed, mm -hmm. you know, if you have experience, obviously you can do it, but I just feel freaking swirly when I'm The worst part there. for me is when I'm trying to brake hard and my front tire walks up and just touching my brake. Yeah. I can just feel it push. <laughs> then, too, if you're going around some of these corners that are real wet, I have the bad tendency of looking right over the front yeah, fender. Yeah, no, I can't you do gotta, it. You gotta fucking look yeah, where you're going. Yeah, I've been looking. Pick up yeah. Yeah. I learned how to combat that. Fucking all the way back. Lean all all the way back as you're braking, rear brake and front brake, so you're not all your for all your weights off your front tire, but it's grabbing just enough. So like if I go like you've never seen it because you've never been behind me, but 
Actually, yeah, that one time where you fucking railed that right hand corner and took and overtook me right before the triple. You come up over that another tabletop, and I was I was on my rear fender. So be on your rear fender. You'll be able to go faster in the corners and break heavier. It's funny in just a year how how much you'll pick up because this is my first year at the track, really. Same with me. And I've gone pretty quick. Yeah. If you feel comfortable not, going with thirty guys. I can go, you know, I can. You just don't think, you can't think about anybody else. Everybody yeah. just go right around. Every, go yeah, thing. everybody will know how to get around you. That's why I'm saying it's crucial to stay in your lane. Yeah. If you stay in your lane, like, you don't cut the track or anything, but if you need to cut the track, you look behind sure, you, yeah. nobody's there, I, I then go. That, yeah. yeah. I think we're out right now. Yeah, we're going out now. You want to go? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's fucking get it done. I can do it. Oh, yeah, he hasn't ridden in a year either. Really? Yeah. Hey, at least you go out there. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? You ride too? Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> get a little XR 100. There you go. <laughs> some air on that one. Yeah. Just be consistent on the gas and try and lean forward. You scared me. Oh, what fucking time you showed up, buddy? How are you? Yeah, man. Finally. Yeah, right? You just missed the fucking moto. We're going out uh, three classes. Kids, the little bike C, then AB. So she just went out to the AB, so we got 30 minutes before we go back out. Is that good? No. No. It's muddy as shit. Really? Yeah.
fucking dirt in my bottle. times better dude I caught some nice air dude I'm like holy sh that's scary dude yeah it's a little nerve-wracking until you get used to it then it's nothing but a thing yeah I definitely am getting used to it dude it's such a blast I told you you saw me get some air huh you saw me get air yeah. for me yeah. I saw you sure buddy you passed me on top I'm like, oh. I did it on purpose I tried to hit it extra high no that was really fun now that I can I clear that double, that, that last double here. That's the triple. So you jumped into the bump? Yeah, it's a little like this. Yeah, so it goes up, yeah. it goes down there, it goes up, then it goes down there, it goes down. I did the second one. Yeah. I jumped the... Uh, that, that was the first thing I cleared. That's what I told you. That's what you did, yeah. That's the first jump that you're going to get comfortable with. Yeah. I didn't catch you till the last lap there this time. Yeah. Yeah, 
quick disconnect? Huh? The quick disconnect? No, from here. This is the quick disconnect. There you go. Yeah. 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 There. It's because you got no gas on the left side. Tip your bike this way. Okay. So what happened was I was low on fuel so when I dropped it I dropped it to the right and the fuel went to the other side and it disconnected when I dropped it disconnected this hose that's what I said I said tip the bike all the way over but I don't know how this fucking hose came undone I don't either it's not supposed to I know what are you doing just waiting for the boys I'm gonna just try this out like a lap and then I'm gonna get my bike okay where are the boys they were like right at the ground coming getting swirly because my arm pump I'm like you know what I'm just gonna take off I don't want to fall and hurt somebody you know what I mean yeah. we might have some tools for that yeah I got just some kinda. tools I think but it's good that it slides off yeah because if it's too tight you'll just snap yeah I got dude I was in a rut good too and I like came around the corner and it popped out into the other rut so my bike was going like this and I hit a rock or whatever there's a big rock at the end dude I fucking hit it dude and I just fucking boom I almost caught it and I just went right <laughs> down on the corner before the two do uh, to do tabletops so at that point I knew it was done yeah. knew we were all done at that point getting tired fucking went down so <laughs> I can tell when I get tired and I don't feel comfortable pulling on the bars yeah I tell shorty drop it for a real one yeah go ahead and pop it let me feel some, let me feel some. do it for the boy